Hello, Steve Connolly again for It's About Belief. So the last video that I did, I was telling you a story about the two cars and I have another one. This is a really short one. So I'm driving down the highway and I'm listening to the radio. And of course, the guy's talking about, hey, if your caller number two or whatever it was, we have two free tickets to you to see this certain concert. And you know what? Um, I heard that and I said, I am going to call in and I know I'm going to win. You know, I just knew it. I, it was not only a thought, it was like my whole body, my whole being knew that I was going to win that, those two tickets. So I picked up the phone and I called in and they said, congratulations, you're caller number two. You've just won two tickets too. And that is the feeling and the a level of faith, if you will, um, that you need to get to, to create instantly. Now that is not that particularly easy. And sometimes it's just serendipity. You know, you, you make a decision, you pick up the phone, you make a call, bam, things come together. It's important to notice as much of that serendipity as you possibly can. In other words, you know, uh, I was looking at some houses the other day and I was on the phone with a guy from, a, um, from one of the leads generated from that, that house looking or advertising or something. I can't really remember, but the point is I was looking down at his sheet and his, his wife was a realtor. And so he had made a call to me through our advertising to sell this house. And so the, on the sheet, the advertising, the piece of paper I had, the, the email, that's what it was. The email I got from him had her information on it. And it said for a five star experience, work with so-and-so. And I said, and so when I was meeting with him, you know, I said, you know, there's some serendipity going on here. And he says, yeah, I know what you mean. He said, when you mentioned to me on the phone about meditating, I said, oh, I am talking to the right guy. And then I'm looking down at this sheet of paper that says five star experience. And I said to him, I said, well, you know, I noticed on here, it says five star and I have a company called five star services, which is obviously renovation and real estate related fix up services and maintenance services for single family houses or commercial, whichever. And, and so that was the beginning of, the serendipity, if you will. So the stories and all this and the serendipity are all really to relay a message, which is one should always strive to get more clarity of thought and more precision of thought and hold the vision with clarity and without interruption and without wavering added with intention of what one wishes, because what I see for me and for others, I'm not here to judge is that our thoughts are sloppy. I mean, they're just all over the place. And I heard something on the YouTube um, just the other day that was talking about us as a, race, human beings, we're, we have the attention span of children when it comes to the attention span that most of the other beings around, let's just say the cosmos have. So our attention span needs some work. All right, let's just say that. And what, and the way we focus and the way we're thinking is extremely sloppy thinking. So how can we expect the universe to deliver exactly when we want, when we can't even focus on it for more than about eight seconds before we get distracted onto something else. So to me, I told the, the story about the tickets. So it was a flash of inspiration. I didn't have time to work on 
quote unquote work on it, which means to me, mess it up uh, with how am I going to win it? What do I have to do? What caller am I going to be? What's, what is it that I'm winning? What's the, the, the band or the group that's playing? When are they playing? What time is it? Is it on a day that I can, none of that. I didn't think about any of that kind of stuff. I didn't know who the band was, don't remember who they were, and I did go. We did go to the concert. Um, I won two tickets, so I took took the wife, and we went and had a good time. I don't remember who they were. I didn't know who they were when I got there. So, uh, but the, it was fun, and uh, so all that to say, don't blame the universe if you're not getting something. Look here, right here. Because the problem, I promise you, is in the thinking of what it is you want, the clarity of the thought, and the intentions that go right behind that. So that was my message, was clarity of thought and intention to get you the life you wish. So this is Steve Connolly for It's About Belief. Go sign up for those belief ideas if you haven't already. And, you know, I'll do some coaching as well. And also, I have a few courses there at itsaboutbelief.com. Thanks for your focus, attention, and clarity of thought during this short presentation. Good day.